earliest interbreeding event between ancient human populations discovered, Neanderthal Denisovan ancestors interbred with a distantly related hominin 700,000 years ago. This is a recent article, February 20th, 2020, University of Utah. A new study documented the earliest known interbreeding event between ancient human populations, a group known as the Super Archaics in Eurasia, interbred with a Neanderthal Denisovan ancestor about 700,000 years ago. The event was between two populations more distantly related than any other recorded. The authors proposed a revised timeline for human migration out of Africa and into Eurasia. The method for analyzing ancient DNA provides a new way to look farther back into the human lineage. For three years, anthropologist Alan Rogers has attempted to solve an evolutionary puzzle. His research untangles millions of years of human evolution by analyzing DNA strands from ancient human species known as hominins. Like many evolutionary geneticists, Rogers compares hominin genomes looking for genetic patterns such as mutations and shared genes. He develops statistical methods that infer the history of ancient human populations. In 2017, Rogers led a study which found that two lineages of ancient humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans, separated much earlier than previously thought and proposed a bottleneck population size. It caused some controversy. Anthropologists Mathesoni and Prufer argued that their method for analyzing the DNA produced different results. Rogers agreed, but realized that neither method explained the genetic data very well. Quote, both of our methods under discussion were missing something, but what, end quote. This is what Rogers asked. He's a professor of anthropology at the University of Utah. The new study has solved that puzzle, and in doing so, it has documented the earliest known interbreeding event between ancient human populations, a group known as the Super Archaics in Eurasia, interbred with Neanderthal Denisovan ancestors about 700,000 years ago, the event was between two populations that were more distantly related than any other recorded. The authors also proposed a revised timeline for human migration out of Africa and into Eurasia. The method for analyzing ancient DNA provides a new way to look further back into the human lineage than ever before. Quote, whenever we've never known about this episode of interbreeding, and we've never been able to estimate the size of the super archaic population, Rogers said. He's lead author of the study. He says, we're just shedding light on an interval on human evolutionary history that was previously completely dark, end quote. The paper was published February 20th, 2020, in the journal Science Advances. Now, the out of Africa and interbreeding, Rogers studied the ways in which mutations are shared among modern Africans and Europeans and ancient Neanderthals and Denisovans. The pattern of sharing implied five episodes of interbreeding, including one that was previously unknown. The newly discovered episode involves interbreeding over 700,000 years ago between a distantly related super archaic population which separated from all other humans around 2 million years ago and the ancestors of Neanderthals and Denisovans. The super archaic and Neanderthal Denisovan ancestor populations were more distantly related than any other pair of human populations previously known to interbreed. For example, modern humans and Neanderthals had been separated for about 750,000 years when they interbred. The race Archaics and Neanderthal Denisovan's ancestors were separated for well over a million years. Rogers said these findings about the timing at which interbreeding happened in the human lineage is telling something about how long it takes for reproductive isolation to evolve. The authors used other clues in the genomes to estimate when the ancient human population separated and their effective population size. They estimated the superarchaic separation separated into its own species about 2 million years ago. This agrees with human fossil evidence in Eurasia that is 1.85 million years old. The researchers also proposed there were three waves of human migration into Eurasia. 
The first was two million years ago, when superarchaics migrated into Eurasia and expanded into a large population. Then 700,000 years ago, Neanderthal Denisovan ancestors migrated into Eurasia and quickly interbred with the descendants of superarchaics. Finally, modern humans expanded into Eurasia 50,000 years ago, where we know they interbred with other ancient humans, including the Neanderthals. Quote, I've been working for the last couple of years on this different way of analyzing genetic data to find out about history, Rogers said. He said, it's just gratifying that you come up with a different way of looking at the data and you end up discovering things that people have not been able to see with other methods, end quote. Nathan S. Harris and Alan Achenbach from the Department of Anthropology at the University of Utah also contributed to the study. And this material is from the University of Utah. Journal reference, Alan Rogers, Nathan Harris, Alan Achenbach, Neanderthal Denisovan ancestors interbred with a distantly related hominin. This is on Science Daily. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.